Okay, so the last um, app that we'll look at here, and again, let me just kind of um, zoom this in a little bit. Uh, it's Google Meet. And just to kind of demonstrate some of these features, I'm going to start a new meeting. Um, obviously, I'm going to be the only participant in here, so it's not the best example. Um, but I just kind of want to showcase where a few of these features are located. So the first one here is take notes for me. Now this is currently an alpha feature, but if you use Gemini or you sign up for a Gemini trial, uh, you are able to enable the early access features in the admin console. So we can turn on this uh, notes functionality, ask it to start taking notes. Now the way this works is um, after a few minutes, and it does take it a few minutes to kind of gather enough context before it starts showing you notes, um, you'll start to see the kind of highlights populated into this window here. Um, it also generates a Google Doc automatically, and it uses the meeting notes format. Now obviously I started an instant meeting, but if this were a calendar event, you'd see the meeting name here. Um, you will not see the notes appear in real time on this document, although you can watch it in real time um, again, after a few minutes, you'll start to see them appear here. After the meeting is over, uh, Gemini will take all of the notes that it gathered during the meeting and just kind of plop them in to this recap document for you. So pretty cool functionality. Again, it's currently an alpha, so it should only get better with time. If you want to try it out, uh, again, you can turn that on if you're a Gemini customer already. Um, now the other uh, AI driven things that you'll notice in Gemini, or I'm sorry, in Google Meet are uh, visual effects. So using the same kind of technology that we uh, use to generate the slide images in Google Slides, uh, you can generate custom backgrounds for yourself in Google Meet. And we also have some AI powered video filters. So uh, lighting adjustment, studio look, touch up. It's basically like an AI filter to enhance the sharpness and quality and lighting of your video. Um, now, the other feature that, um, that you'll notice in here, it's a little less obvious, I guess. I'm gonna actually unmute myself, so hopefully this will start to work. But we can turn on captions in Google Meet, and it'll actually do translated captions, which is super cool. So if the language of the meeting is in English, uh, we then turn on translated captions and tell it, you know, what language we want to translate this into. So we can choose, you know, Spanish. And you'll see um, <laughs> it started in Chinese and then it moved over into Spanish. Uh, but uh, this is super helpful if you're if you're attending a meeting where you know the language being spoken is not something that you're fluent in, which you know I often comes up for me since we deal with international customers. Um, this is great. You can turn this on for yourself, and you can hopefully follow what's going on in the meeting. So this is an AI-powered uh, feature.